Okay, ladies and gentlemen, our next contest is for the Fight UK Amateur Flyweight title. Fought under 125 pounds. And the first fighter to enter the octagon into the blue corner. Let's hear it for Chaya Salim. Okay, here I am with Chia Salim. Uh, Chia is a uh, 2-0, fights out of fearless MMA in Birmingham, and tonight is fighting for the Fight UK amateur flyweight title. Chia, how you doing, mate? I'm good, thanks. Excellent. Now, obviously, you're coming off a, a decision victory on the last Fight UK, and you're still, so you're 2-0. Um, obviously, you're looking to keep that uh, winning streak going, and you're fighting for the belt tonight. Have you made any special preparation because it's a title fight? Uh, not really, just trained with my team. Uh, Tom Brees helped me a lot. Uh, thanks, Tom, and my coach, Skation Camby, and just uh, all my training partners, and we just trained the same. Excellent. Yeah. Well, I mean, you mentioned Tom Brees there. I mean, I've known Tom for quite some time. He's, he's making his mark in the UK MMA scene, fighting on the bigger shows, so I'm sure that experience is going to help you out. Um, obviously, have you seen many videos of your opponent? Do you know much about him? I've heard he's fallen one, and uh, he, he's a good grappler and uh, he likes to push the pace. That's all I know about him. Okay, well look, it sounds like you've done your preparation. Um, you're obviously looking in very good shape uh, once again, so we're looking forward to seeing you showcasing your skills in the cage tonight. Thank you. And his opponent entering into the red corner. Let's hear it for Josh Neal. Okay, here I am with Josh Neal. Uh, Josh trains with Warriors MMA out of Banbury, and he has currently got a fantastic MMA record of five fights, uh, sorry, six fights, five wins, and one loss. But tonight, Josh is making his debut on the Fight UK promotion. Josh, how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm not bad, to be honest. Excellent, good, good. Uh, tell me about your preparation for the fight. What's been happening in the last few weeks? Uh, not much change, really. I train as if I'm preparing for, preparing for a fight all the time. Just polished everything up in the last couple of weeks. Just do the business forever. Good stuff, you sound confident mate. Do you know much about your opponent at all? Not much really, I watched his fight from the last show and I'm just gonna do what I do really. Not really too fussed about what he's got planned, just use my game plan. Excellent. Well look, it sounds like you're brimming with self-confidence there. So all that's really left to say mate is best to look for tonight and we'll look forward to seeing you Cheers. in action later. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. He hails from Birmingham. He's 24 years old, stands five feet seven inches tall, and weighed in at 125 pounds. He fights for Fearless MMA and has a perfect record of two contests with two wins. Let's hear it for Chaya Salim. And his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. He hails from Banbury. He's 20 years old, stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighed in at 125 pounds. He fights for Warriors MMA and has a fantastic record of six contests, five wins and one loss. Let's hear it for Josh Neal. Hey, gentlemen, you both understand the rules at this point. Do you have any questions on those rules? If you want to touch gloves, do it now. Let's go back to the computer. This contest is fought over five three-minute rounds for the Fight UK title belt. Flyaway amateur action here. Now we've got a title fight. Five three-minute rounds. Yes, you heard them. Five three-minute rounds. Chaya Salim in the white shorts fighting at the blue corner. Fearless MMA. His opponent, Josh Neal, in the red and black shorts. He's fighting out of the red corner. An elite MMA. Good shot from Salim there, very tight. Vacant belt on the line. Both guys really wanted to make a mark here. Nicely Re timed takedown there. Really explosive entry there into that takedown. Neil saw that left hook come in. He dropped it like it's hot. He was in there, he was done. Nice knee to the body there from Neil. Salim undaunted, continues to work. Both guys push off. A beautiful, beautiful judo trip there. Straight on the neck. Watch the head position. So, battle of the clinch. One underhook apiece. 
Another trip throw initiated. Not as much success this time from Neil. Salim ends up on top. Neil's got butterfly though, so we may see a sweep. Well, I said that quietly because they're coming over to where we're sat in case you hadn't noticed. Don't want to give away any advantages there. It's Salim who postures up. Ooh, leg lock attack. Obviously, I'm at rules, so you're only allowed the straight, straight leg locks. Which is dangerous because he could get a knee bar from there. That's straight. He's, he's rolling for the knee bar, but he's got to be careful of, Ooh. right as I said it, not getting punched in the face. Big, big shots. Salim on top, landing some good shots, mixing it up, head and body. Neil holding on, looking to get the takedown again. Yep, there it is. Beautiful. Great grappling attack from Neil. I really like the way he's mixed up his takedowns. It's not just been the standard rush to the fence. Grab the hands together. He's throwing some nice judo style takedowns, smooth right. the shoulder throws. And that one there, beautiful. Uh, here is his head's not in any danger there. He's keeping it relatively close to the center line, so he's not at risk of guillotine at the minute. Here he is. Now he is. He's popped it under the armpit of Salim. And Salim's arm has gone round. However, his hips are almost free. Got the arms connected here, arm in. Bit harder to finish from this position. Would need the full guard. And snake that right leg out. Doesn't look like he's going to be able to get it from here, but he's really, really squeezing. What he's got to try and do to get the arm in is to try and arch the back a little bit more, lean into it. Doesn't look like he's going to get it. No, and again, you don't want to expend too much energy trying to go for a submission that is not going to work. Especially not a guillotine. There's a lot of power required in a technique like that. Are we going to see? No, we're not. I thought we were going to see Von Flew then for a minute, but no. Ten seconds to go. End of round one. Four more of these to come. Very evenly matched fight. has been the theme of the night, really. The theme of every night of Fight UK. Vacant flyweight title on the line, and both guys leaving it all in there. So round two, two of five. Scheduled for five three-minute rounds. Both these guys looking like they're starting off the first round. Not even a ball. Oh, nice oh, hanging. He's out. out. He is out. out. He is out. Head kick KO from Chair Salim. What a way to win the title. Unbelievable knockout. Wow. That was big. That was big. And there's the respect we see from Salim. Kneeling down in front of his opponent there. Didn't go in for the following shot. Knew it wasn't needed. Very classy, that for me. Yeah, that's it. You're right. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, after just seven seconds of round number two, your winner by knockout, a new Fight UK flyweight champion from the blue corner, Taya Salib. Well, let's hear it for a very worthy challenger. Let's hear it for Josh Neal.